what's going on. But have a look here. See, see that thing right there? You know what that is? That's a beer can. Guys, you ever heard of beer can chicken? Oh, yeah. You know how good it is and tender it is and flavor and juicy yeah, and all that kind of stuff? It sears on the inside. It sears it's on the inside. But what's yep. cool about this one is we use one of the big 22 ounces, and now we're doing beer can turkeys. You can't do that in your barbecue. The lid's not high enough. This right. is the only machine I've ever seen you can do that in. Now, this basket is very unique. This basket is on a hinge, so larger foods like this are easier to get out. If you want to grab the hinge basket, that's available for you today, too. So what I'm going to do yep. is going to grab my little my little grabbers here, my little claws. And I'm just gonna get that right into the breast just like that so I can Got pick it. this up. See how easy that was? And the beer, beer can comes out. You wanna stand that up for me? Hold on. Yikes. Now, it's hot, dude. <laughs> that's hot. All now right. what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this cloth and I'm gonna get it rid of the beer can just get like that. There we go. I'm gonna put this up front. I gotta tell you, boy, she's juicy when we're making beer can chicken. I'm gonna let the turkey fall here. Now watch what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna take my tongs and I want you to watch something. Guys, if we can get a shot between the bird and the board, <laughs> look at this. Look at how tender and juicy that is. Oh, I'm telling you right now, boy. Yeah, because I look at that juice that's coming out of there. <laughs> that is not uh, fat because the fat is in the exterior and that's turned into what we call the turkey bacon. You it's got nice it. And crisp on the outside. And what's great about doing a beer can yeah. is you can empty the beer out of the can and you can fill it up with any sort of liquid you want. Sure. Maybe you want cola. Maybe you want juice. Maybe you want a little bit of Asian flavor. What's great is you end up steaming, cooking, flavoring from the inside while on the Turn outside around, charbroil's so true infrared technology takes care of this Do now you guys see the juice coming off that exactly thing? moment of silence for that you guys oh my god that's incredible hey i want to remind everybody out there if you do order this you get it uh, guaranteed in time for thanksgiving so you'll be using it for thanksgiving uh, and don't forget, it's a great gift, too, if you want to buy it for somebody. We also have extended returns. You can keep it all the way through the holiday season. You know, after you give it to somebody, if they got another one or whatever, you still have the ability to return it, but you're going to love it. I don't know if you see that juice this, coming down off this the bottom is, of this, that piece. This one piece a little has higher. been dripping since I cut it, I don't know, 30, 35 seconds ago. Watch this. I'm going to do this again, guys. If you've never had turkey cooked properly... You don't know what you're missing. It's juicy like a roast beef when it's cooked properly and not dried it. out. I'm hey, Mark, let's yep. go to the phones, buddy. We have Barry, our good friend Barry from Arizona. He wants to talk to us. Yeah, and he owns hi. it already. Hi, Barry. Hi, Barry. Welcome. Hey, how are you, <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. I love it. Uh, uh, I've uh, used mine. Uh, I've had mine for quite some time now. Uh -huh. Right. And uh, I've cooked both... Well, turkey, chicken. I'm going pound on the chicken. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, roast beef. Yeah. Bridge. Yep. I, I just haven't thought of quit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Barry, you're, you're the perfect person to call because you, you're like me. I, you know, you want to use it for everything. Once you see how well it cooks... I mean, look at what Mark just did there, Barry. We got brisket and pulled pork, right? You love that's, it. That's right. What's and, the first uh, thing you made on your machine, Barry, when you got it home? Do you remember? Uh, first thing? Yeah. Uh, I, I got the roast on there first. You a did roast. a roast first, and yeah. it was, uh, I mean, uh, tender, then, juicy, uh, and perfect, then, uh, wasn't it? Came, then came the uh, turkey. Good. Good for you, bud. Uh, and uh, it did a fantastic job on that turkey. Beautiful. Excellent. Beautiful. Uh, Thank you, Barry. We appreciate you calling. Have fun, buddy. Now, you see what I've done here, guys? We're going to talk about real barbecue, okay? Because you can turn the flame down on the Big Easy and do low and slow cooking, which is right. something that I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. So now what you're doing is you're taking that machine and the versatility that you get from the basket that holds the large quantities of food, the right. ease of use. We're going to throw in those stackable ovens on that, uh, yeah. on that uh, what do we call buy. it, bonus mm -hmm. buy today so you can really take care of it. But check this out, you guys. I'm going to take a second. I want to talk about these little racks, okay? You're going to get two of them with it. Now, these are a neat combination rack. And we're going to show you a little bit more later with it. But what these do is these will actually hold chicken and turkey legs inside the machine. So you can do those great exhibition and fair style turkey legs that, sure. the, that the whole family oh, loves. I love it. Yeah. But they'll be tender and juicy instead of dry like you get there. But what they also do is they provide you a way to configure your basket by giving you two half racks. So you can do this giant pulled pork with brisket on top. Mm -hmm. You can do multi-level cooking. You can do one giant piece of meat. You can mm -hmm. do several small ones. You can do a chicken here, chicken here, chicken here. We'll show you that later. Later too. Exactly. You're limited by <laughs> your imagination, your imagination only. So what I'm going to do here, guy, is I'm going to take our basket with our pork. I'm going to set this aside like this, and you and I are going to talk brisket. You and I are barbecue guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we go to the joints, we watch the shows, yeah. we do it at home, we do our thing. The toughest thing in the world to create is right there. Yeah. Guys, you see that? 
That little bark That's on the outside. That's that bark, man. That's where that beautiful. flavor is. That's yep. where the fat cap gets that beautiful caramelization mm -hmm. over top and allows the fat to render into the meat. So what happens is you get a brisket that's a cheaper cut of meat because it's so tough, and by the time you're done with it, the knife just falls through it like it's not even there. And guys, look at this. Yeah, it's beautiful Brisket stuff, can man. be dry, it can be gummy, it can be chewy, but not with charbroil and the built-in true infrared cooking look technology, guys. Look at this. And you see that, <clears throat> that bark on the top, and you see how this is just falling up, uh, apart? And it makes the most delicious sandwich if you've never enjoyed oh. brisket. Well, you know, here's, here's the thing, is that a lot of this cooking is difficult when you use traditional smokers, uh, if you do, you know, if you buy one of those, uh, you know, the mm. big uh, ceramic cookers, you got to know so much about it when you're using it. With this, just put it in, you hit the button, that's all you do. Let's go back to our phones. We'll Ooh. say hi to Susan, who's in Virginia. Hi, Susan. Hey, Welcome. Susan. How are Hello. you? Hi. Hi. Tell us, uh, do you already own one of our uh, one of our Big Easies? Y yes, I do. Wonderful. How's it working out for you, Susan? It's great. I used oil for about five years, uh -huh. and I was always stressed out about it. <laughs> And it took me two days afterwards to clean up. Oh, no. <laughs> Where'd you hide the oil? The neighbor's yard? <laughs> it, was, it was a mess. I, I, we've really had some predicaments with that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the Big Easy. I've cooked many turkeys in it. Actually, Wonderful. Actually, I'm going to cook a turkey breast in it tomorrow. Yep. I've used it for fish. I've used it for roast and for pork. And I like to use, like, the little half shells sure. to cook sweet potatoes and asparagus. Um, it's, it's wonderful. And, and the turkey mm. is every bit as good as mm. it was fried and it's so I, much less mess. That's what we try that's to tell everybody. You know, I, I think Susan, I think people don't understand that, how simple it is, uh, to be able to get that great flavor. And, and another nice thing is, and I don't know if Susan does this as well. You just keep this right out on the patio. You keep it outside. You just, I mean, you don't have to heat up the whole house. No, man. You it's there. To, it's ready to go. Winter, save, spring, summer, fall. You save that oven. By the way, you save the uh, the oven for other things you mm -hmm. might want to bake. Because exactly. Lord knows when you have holidays or, or you're entertaining, that oven space is, mm -hmm. at, a, is at a premium. So you can uh, use, utilize that as well. Exactly. Hey, we invite you to get social on our community page at HSN. Uh, you can share your favorite recipes with me. Uh, and you can just search community over there. You see a whole bunch of people are already doing it. So if you're like Susan and you've got great ideas and tips, you can share them there with us uh, any time over the next day or so. So feel free to join us over there. Uh, I'm going to read a couple of them. We've got, let's see, we got Tigger Schumann who said, I would love to create some new venison recipes with this grill. There we go. I there love go. venison. Make, um, sure you make sure you post those for us, you yeah. know, on my Facebook page or something. Here's another one. I would happily prepare my family's secret sauced ribs for a holiday get-together. Uh, the secret prep involves marinade, dry rub, and a final hit with sauce at the end of the grill. So cool. we got a lot of people that are giving us great information and great tips. You're welcome to do that all day. All Thank right, you. my friend, what else you got? Here's one of the things that I love, love, love about the Big Easy, and I've loved it from the first day I presented it, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. Man. The fact that it takes the intimidation factor out of cooking. 16, 20 pound turkeys, especially if you haven't done them every year of your life, if you're not in charge of the holiday dinner, they're intimidating. Mm. Big, big, big briskets with that perfect bark is intimidating. When you invite people over for lamb, it's intimidating. But I gotta tell you something, this machine takes all of that out of the equation because all you're yeah. doing is you're turning one button. So guys, look at this. Watch what I'm gonna do here. Pulled pork, unlike anything you've ever seen, and all I'm doing is I'm just shredding this guy. Look guys, I put this in the machine, I turned it on, I walked away. This is the best thing in the world for sandwiches. If you throw a little bit of pork gravy over this or if you've got your barbecue sauce. In fact, a little bit later in the show, I'm gonna make our, our signature uh, um, signature, it's I'm tired. What is it, midnight? <laughs> what are you talking about? Our smoked mac, mac and, cheese and cheese and pulled pork sandwich. But before yeah. I do that, just the pork alone, and Guy, I want you to help me out here, okay? Because it's one thing for me to pop this in my mouth. I know what's going to go on mm -hmm. here, but you know, it's been so long since I've gotten to feed you this just by itself. Yeah, yeah, it's We're so gonna do good. A little, just like that. And I got I to gotta tell you, yeah. this is the kind of meat that just absolutely... Yeah. Melts. You ever put one of those That's little crazy. bread wafers in your mm -hmm. in your mouth yeah. and it just dissolves? That's what the meat is doing, guys. It's just dissolving See, in your mouth. It's and beautiful. I don't think people think they can do that at home. You can do that so very fast, easily. So simple. And remember, these cuts of meat are more affordable than your primer cuts of meat. Your prime cuts of meat, like you know, uh, sirloins and things like that. This is the meat that has a lot of fat in it. Exactly. But it's marbleized. It has a lot of flavor as well. Um, thick. Think about what we just did. <laughs> it's been like, what, 20 we've minutes? Been on, we've been on for about 20 <laughs> minutes. And so far, we've done two turkeys. Mm -hmm. We did a beautiful holiday ham. We've done uh, the, the brisket. Mm -hmm. We did pulled pork. We've, we've already got ribs going in another one of the ovens. And another turkey, stuffed turkey going there. 
This is so easy. If you find holidays to be stressful, if you think it's hard to cook a turkey or a chicken or ribs, you can do it, but you need the right tools. It's just like a mechanic when they go off and they want to be an auto mechanic. You got to buy good tools. That's going to do a lot of the job for you. Exactly. That's, that's what the, 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 the Charbroil Big Easy does for you. Mm. And we do it at the best price anywhere in the country. You can't find this price with what we're giving you because we're throwing in the kebab racks we're throwing in the the chicken leg and turkey leg racks mm -hmm. we're throwing in um the 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 skewers all that stuff the how-to book everything to get you going all you need to do is buy it it makes the perfect gift ladies if you're looking for a great gift for your husband Guys love this stuff. Trust me. Guys love this. You throw some meat in there, hit a button, <laughs> go have a cold beer, and just wait for it to come out. It's fantastic. Your husbands will love it because it gives them something to do. They're responsible for something, for cooking <laughs> something, so they feel good about themselves. It gives them an excuse to go outside and hang out on the we deck. Are a, we're a simple bunch, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> what a perfect... Our producer, Allison, just hit it right. She goes, what a perfect gift to give for the holidays. <laughs> it's affordable. It does so much. You get so much bang for the buck with right. this thing. It does everything. We've just scratched the surface. Again, we'd love to hear from you now uh, we're close to 800 people have already picked it up um <clears throat> there's our phone number again so call us if you've ordered it we'd love to talk to you mr gill what else you got going on over oh there? we're just gonna keep having fun you guys yeah. Listen, the versatility of this machine is off the charts you know when we first presented this seven eight years ago yeah. we did turkey after turkey after turkey and we took a step back and we went wait a minute what else does this machine do what else can we tempt our customers' uh -huh. taste buds with. So we talked about the ham. We talked about that perfect brisket. We talked about that pulled pork that'll win you barbecue contests. Well, let's talk about one of my favorite demonstrations, guys. I love this. I'm from Eastern Canada, right above Maine, uh, Prince Edward Island. And I gotta tell you, we all get together for those, you know, those uh, New England style clam bakes, the crab bakes, all that kind of stuff. But it's oh, a yeah. lot of work. It takes giant pots and fire and sure. a, lot of, a lot of money and a lot of time. Guys, look at this. That basket is gonna hold anywhere between 25 and 30 pounds of your favorite, and I mean favorite ingredients in your New England clam boil. Uh, clam boil. You're gonna love, love, love making this for your family and friends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this to the side just like that, and I want yep. you to see what we've got in here, okay guys? The capacity of this machine's off the charts. So here's our mussels, our clams, our caw hogs, just like that. Now remember, we're not steaming, we're not adding water, we're right. not adding oil. All we're doing, guy, is we're just turning the machine on and walking away, and look what I got here. I got corn, I got potatoes, I got crab, I got giant lobsters the size mm -hmm. of my head. Are you kidding me, you guys? <clears throat> this is absolutely incredible, the capacity of this machine. There's our corn, yep. there's our potatoes, I got one more crab leg here. Yeah, get them in there, Mark. And just like that. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the bread. We're just going to pop this on top like that. Mm -hmm. This is how you serve this, you guys. And the magic is you're going to have this on the table, just like you see it here, in about 12 minutes. So every 12 minutes, a little parsley, a little drawn butter. You've got a feast like that to feed your family and friends. I got to tell you, this machine is the focal point of entertaining in your house. Yep. And I don't care what season it is, you guys, winter, spring, summer, fall, it's not like a hamburger where you got to sit out there and watch it and, and worry mm -hmm. about it. All you're going to do is you're going to walk out, put the food in, turn it on, walk away. It's not a fryer. You're not going to have to stand there and babysit it. You're not going to have to get rid of oil. You're not going to have to worry about the extra fat, calories, cholesterol, and what you're going to do with all of the extra. All you're going to get is perfect results every single time, guys. Right. I love it. One button. Here's what I'll tell you. I'm going up to update you a little bit here. Close to 850 have already been spoken for. <clears throat> we have a very limited supply of this, since it's the best value of the day. If you want one, now's the time to get it. You don't have any decisions to make. It comes in one color. It comes in the black. It does a, a billion different great things for you when it comes to cooking and the styles of cooking you can do. If you love to do barbecue, if you love to just have healthy meals, you know, if you're doing a high protein, a protein diet and you want to be able to put some chickens in there, you can do that as well. I mean, when you compare this to the, your traditional oven, which is just a big box,